and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Network. We back in action, back in action with another reaction video. Back in this thing, back in this thing, like cook cracking this thing, man. Like, comment, subscribe, more is good. Content we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Get into that, man. Hit the subscribe button, come part of the Trap Mafia. That notification bell at the top, and all stay tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What we got going on here at TNN Trap News Network. Get into that, man. Make sure I get into my new single, Your Love Ain't For Me, is out now on all streaming platforms. Get into that, man. Your Love Ain't For Me, available on all streaming platforms. Forms. Get into that. Get into that. Make sure you get into that. If you ain't got into that, y'all know the deal, man. Make sure y'all drop a comment because the best comment will receive a five hundred dollar cash. Have the top comment between now and fifty thousand subscribers will receive a five hundred dollar cash apping team. Man, y'all let me know if y'all want to see that go between two people, one person. Y'all let me know how y'all want to see that, man. But we will be giving away a good five hundred dollars when we get to fifty thousand subscribers. So make sure y'all tap in with all that good stuff we got going in today. We got Street TV, man. Shout out to Munchie B. Uh, sitting down with Adam22 and Mariah and Mariah asked the question if Adam22's wife has a reaction to the no jumper drama we finna jump into this content without no further ado or don't shout out to Munchie B shout out to Mariah shout out to the Rich at Heart podcast on Street TV 3, 2, 1 let's go the type of content that you that you do like with the interviews and stuff does she ever get scared I keep her in the dark for most of it she ain't really on the rap internet. All the shit that we know about, she don't know about, like, almost any of it. It got to really, really get to, like, a certain level for her to even, like, notice it. She's off in, like, mom world slash, like, she pays attention to the porn industry and what's going on with all the OnlyFans girls and shit like that. But she don't really, like... Adam's eyes is a high. Uh, blink hard. Uh, blink hard. That man is on D-R-U-G-S. Struggling to stay alive. Make sure y'all pay attention to how bro is blinking. Goodness gracious. But what I will say is, as a man, I like the fact that he's protecting his wife's bubble. It's already you to let enough people pop her bubble. Glad you finally decided to protect that girl bubble. I can respect you get that. to, like, a certain level for her to even, like, notice it. She's off in, like, mom world slash, like, she pays attention to the porn industry and what's going on with all the OnlyFans girls and shit like that. But she don't really, like... She don't get that excited about it. I'm not mad at you for keeping her out. Yeah. It, it, it could be. I'm, I'm a stress case as it, so I can only imagine. I that. used to sell everything, but now it's like there'll be the craziest beef thing going on in No Jumper, and I'll come home like, hey, how you doing? How was work? Good. Yeah. You know, you got gang yeah, members. Leave it alone. Yeah. You got gang mm -hmm. members and you got content members because gang members want to leave their girlfriends and their mom in the dark. Let them not, he want to leave laying in the dark. He's a content member for real. He gang yeah. gang with this content. I mean, it's just like it's going to stress her out more than me. So I just won't tell her because it's like. I'm not stressed about it, but I know if I tell you, you're going to be stressed about it. Yes. Yes. You know? <clears throat> I feel like I got it under control. I might be lying to myself. So, so was she walking around the mouth or a little bit running? Was she walking around the house mad and looking at you like, you better do something, Adam. Fuck them up. Because T-Real and <laughs> Smack disrespected your daughter. You know what I'm saying? I think they shouldn't have did that. I was out of yeah. bounds. But, but, but well, she, I know she got wind of that, though. Right. Now, I will say this. Once children get involved, it is a lot of things that come into effect. Once children get involved, the parents are allowed to respond however they should, however they so, however they see to. F Once children get, words are hard right now, kicking my A-double-double. -double. Once children get involved, parents are allowed to react however they should choose to, and so they see fit to respond to said disrespect. That's what I believe. I mean, I actually don't know if she got wind of that. She might have. And either way, all she was going to do is just, like, shake her head and be just like, damn, that's that's some lame-ass shit. Right. But, I mean, if you're looking at them, I mean, they both handicapped. And kids should never be mentioned. <laughs> they both ain't going to shoot none. And they both ain't got no squabbles. So, it's like, they got to they gotta do that. Like, they only got nothing else to go to. You know, that's all they got. I didn't mean to laugh at that shit. Hey, bro, but I just stuffed off the motorcycles, bro. Fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah. Look, they both fucked off off the motorcycle. But I'm not laughing at anything. I'm off just, the Y'all are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't crazy. No, I because I don't know T Real, but I know Smack. I don't, I ain't never met T Real, but I know they both fucked up off the motorcycle. Smack the kind of dude to point the gun at the at the camera on live. Man, 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 man. man that's all he gonna do. Man, he ain't on shit. This pod shit go crazy. You will start beefing over podcasts and hey, Adam Loki taking shots. Since shit for real. Mm. No, nah, it's crazy to be like a podcaster who like talks tough, but then really don't got nobody who's gonna do nothing for you like T Real. Because like his, he, he, his whole life, his brother was the one like. Beating people up for him and doing shit for him. The big little brother. Big deal, yeah. But now, like, they don't got him to do nothing for him. So he just out here just all alone. 
Hey man, I I always they as brothers they always they could have kept that off the internet, but then again, I, everybody they put that content shit first and yeah. smack, bro. You my boy, but you should have hit the camera or you should have, you know what I'm saying? Intervene, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Being it, like you, the the mutual dude in, in both parties, you know what I'm saying? Mm. That 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 I I put that on smack. You just sitting there being quiet, and you letting them like hit below the belt and say shit that they can't take back you know what i'm saying but the fire smack content was the uh the thing where charleston white was like telling t rail fuck your dead homies i was just thinking about baby, i was just thinking kids about that. and all that shit and smacks just like yeah get him get him on and take and yeah, i've never seen nothing like that and, 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 and to smack it hit smack in the face he wasn't expecting to say fuck slim 400 because because i'm close to slim and smack is too yeah yeah so he didn't expect that now he said somebody that's dear to you and now you're looking dumb right you can diss the kids, but don't diss Slim. Nah, I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, dis, I don't disrespect kids though. Yeah, that's crazy, man. I don't know why. To me, that's like a huge sign of weakness. Like if you if you get in an argument with somebody and the first thing that comes to your mind is to diss their kids, is just to me that's like, oh, you don't really got the verbal ability like to to do battle. Because I never would even think of doing that to T. Row. Cause I could pick him apart with words, and I could break down his character. I'm Kendrick, basically. <laughs> Feel like a retarded ass crippled Drake, but like I could pick him apart with words. I don't gotta talk about your kids. Like your kids are great. I, the kids been to the parties at my house and shit. They're they're, they're awesome. You know, it's, it sucks that they gotta grow up with some fucking bogus ass parents. But does it yeah. hurt you more? And I don't know if hurt is the best word, but I know sometimes you no longer are friends with somebody. You outgrow a situation. Is it like because you guys were, you know, he's been around your family, obviously, or like family parties, the kids been around. Does it like kind of like upset you a little bit or hurt you? Like, damn, that's probably weird. only AD. But AD and the T-Rail thing hurt a little bit, but it was just because like, you know. That's the first time bro has ever admit that. I can respect that he finally has admitted that that thing hurt him, bro. And it makes sense for it to have hurt him because AD and T-Rail are your people, bro. They your people. So if they're not your people no more, that's cool. But at one point, they were your people. So I can imagine that that level of betrayal or cross or whatever you feel would hurt. And it makes sense for it to hurt. That's why the beef has gone so far because y'all weren't just randoms, bro. Y'all was friends. And that's that's ugly. Like, they really, like, swore up and down that they were, like, my friends. Like, you know, and they, like, even if we aren't working together, even if we go our separate ways business-wise, we always going to have love for you and be thankful for while you changed our lives and all that shit. And then as soon as they got an opportunity, they fucking painted these crazy narratives about me and stuff so that's why I like there's almost nobody that i really probably have like a lifelong grudge against but i would probably put them in that category just because i feel like i never had anybody do some host shit to me like that and they both act like they're like real ones or like they're like really good friends hey but see uh, ad ad never never really wanted to go hard on you or nothing like that i could tell like he but like, ad does the shit where he plays the victim like hard in every situation and he just like he didn't like hate on me super directly, but he painted this narrative that I had like really screwed him over and undervalued him and treated him poorly, even though he's not capable of actually naming any ways in which I treated him poorly. So to me, like with him, even though he never really like talked shit the way that some other people did, I still kind of just have that grievance against him for trying to make me look a certain way when realistically, No Jumper took AD's career from the fucking the grave and resurrected it which is it was not something i don't think he denied that though yeah but he he likes to lie and act like his music career was like still kind of going in 2020 when in reality everybody knows that like he should have been ice cold for years and years and years and then we kind of brought him back from the dead and then he repaid me by adam is talking hot cash shit right now good expression. totally just doing some <laughs> judas shit you know hey, i know this sound bad coming from men especially gang members uh yo like it's, i think his feelings was kind of hurt Cause I, well, if I got it right, he found out some 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 shit behind the scenes, and it should have really came from you instead of off Reddit or Lush, uh, exposing it to Reddit or however it went. Yeah, it was I a think, little bit of that. I think he, he he his feelings was hurt. You know what I'm saying? He said he was getting ready for your your wedding, and you know what I'm saying, getting so and all that little shit. So I think his, it, not it ain't, the homie ain't soft because I'm cool with AD, mm -hmm. but like. You know, we don't want to hear all oh, my feelings is hurt, but I think his feelings is going to hurt, though. I, but it's normal. I mean, y'all, men, men have feelings. It's okay. But the thing is, is that okay. his feelings weren't actually like hurt. How, like it was just much, like a useful. My bad. I like how much you be po politic that situation because as men, a lot, oh, you and your feelings, you and your feelings. Like, why should that be a diss? Why should that be a sign of disrespect? Why should that be a um, anything outside of, you know, a, a solid thing? But it's like, oh, your feelings is hurt. Your feelings is hurt. Well, yeah, you did something to hurt my feelings, bro. Um, you know? I don't know, like, that's that, like, that, that's kind of what it is, like, so I'm not really sure why that's, like, 
you know, that's that. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, but let's keep going. Hold on. Hold on. Call 770-558-1887 on speakerphone. Uh, do it not work? My bad, y'all. Somebody just hit me up and said they got the my bad. The Lightning Seventeen's released today. Why is not? Oh, they have a contact number. Seven seven zero five eight. Call seven seven zero. Call seven seven zero five five eight one eight eight seven on speakerphone. Hey, how you doing? I just saw on you guys' Instagram that you guys have some a couple pair of the 17s available. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have a 13 available? No, we don't. Damn, what's the biggest size? Uh, we can't show that information, but we don't have a 13. Do you got a 12? Dang, she can't tell me she got a 12. Man, fuck LVRG Capital Clothing, man. And this they shit in Atlanta. I'm trying to get these shoes, bro. Y'all see she just hung up on me, man. Fuck her. We ain't gonna get them, they chili. If you know any good, any, any, any good resellers who got that good 17s, 17s, man, I, I got chili. I got chili. I'm chili ready right now for the 17s, man. For these. I'm chili ready right now for these. Chili ready right now, man. I'm finna jump back to this Cantiana, but I'm chili ready right now. Slide in my DM on Instagram. I'm chili ready. Let's keep going thing for him to say on the way out to make it look like he was the victim because that's one thing that he's like really really good at he's not really that good at podcasting but he's really good at playing the victim oh so so what if they came out with some shit called surviving no jumper you go have they've been doing it for like the last year people no, got I'm, sick of it i'm talking about the official thing oh I know, then right. everybody that left but i feel like no, no jumper is not like what what has no jumper done to anyone besides like help them glow up their career and like like I don't, I can't think of anybody that has like an actual complaint besides house phone getting exposed for the whoop and the yeah. All right, do you feel like you was wrong for that? Uh, it was careless of me for sure to to like I probably should have just scrapped it in general. Mm -hmm. I told the editor to edit everything out. I probably should have done like a full review of it to make sure that it was edited properly because that's really. But you know what though, anything that comes out about Adam and his maybe maybe not situations and all his. You know, sketchiness and all that kind of stuff always gets edited out. So I'm not sure how that made it through the cracks. The where it went wrong is just that we decided to put the thing out anyway, and then not like like he edited it, but he didn't edit it good enough to like totally make it so you couldn't tell who he was talking about. You know, who was his girlfriend at the time? That's a part of the community. What's her what name? name? Illa. She she down as a most. She was because I, I don't know if I, if I would have got caught with them same allegations with my. My girlfriend still, my girlfriend, baby mama still be rocking with me. Like, and she was standing on business and trying to go hard on you about outing them. You know I think that was a big part of why he ended up leaving No Jumper was because, like, it was one thing for him to well, be. Bro, you disrespected that man. You were embarrassing and shame, tried to shame his man, tried to shame his manhood. So I, I can imagine that he's not really too cool on you, brother. I don't know what people talking shit. And it was another thing to have his girl, like, putting pressure on him, basically, like, how could you fuck with Adam still when. This shit happened, you know? Illa, Illa, Illa. She's still over there with community? I actually don't know. Is she cute? She all right. She look all right. I never uh, seen her in real life. I wonder. Illa bad. Illa bomb. Illa a 10. On a scale of 1 to 10, Illa's a honey, bro. Illa fine. Illa fine. Like, let's not pretend like Illa ain't nothing. She thick. She chocolate. She, whew, you feel me? She, whew, man. I wonder if they still together. Man. I don't think so. Nah. Uh, but maybe. I don't know. No, I know. I know. I liked it that how she was standing on business for her dude, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That no, that 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 shit stood out to me. I'm like, okay, check her oh, out. Like yeah, yeah. Like, she had a rant at one point. She had a whole little wrestler rant. I remember that. I mean, being an observer, like it's easy for people to point the finger and do all that. But if I'm going to be completely 100 percent honest, I feel like you have helped a lot of people and given them the opportunity, whether they're just coming up there for an interview or giving them the, the mic to have their podcast on your show. So to be fair, I would think that I, I, I don't see no type of like surviving, no jumper type thing happening. Just being an observer, like just to be 100% honest and did not you, Did you see when Gina was saying? I was about to just say shaking. that. I was about to give you an example. Gina said like, every day she went to work up there, she was uncomfortable. I've never be, seen oh, that. Oh, that was the funniest I, See, shit. I never seen nothing bad like, about Gina that either. That was so, so funny. 
No, it wasn't nothing bad about her. It was, it was her. It was her. She was talking about her experience at No Jumper and how she didn't feel safe when she was at work. I'm going to say this. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it, it could have been because she's in the environment she's around, right? Like you're doing all these men and hearing all these crazy stories. Eventually, as a woman, if you're going to be like, oh, shit, like <laughs> this is getting crazy. Maybe just hearing, you know, you're hearing different stuff. I is hear she a crip or something. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it like this. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to keep in mind, keep, keep, keep in mind, she's a girl. She's a girl. She's a girl. But you know, I I know the, the community she grew up in. She's not a crip, right? But she's you know from, what I'm saying. She's from around. She bring them dudes up there, Tune Five and Uzi, right? Right. I, I know Tune Five and Uzi. Those my ops, and, and them little dudes they get busy. Right. If you ever hung out around Tune Chi Five willingly, you are not allowed to say that No Jumper as an environment scared you, because that's an intimidating. Maybe individual. it was like her, like a mental health type thing, like shout out to anxiety, five. That's like Tune Five. That's type my anxiety son. type. This is a hip hop podcast. There ain't no mental health. No. <laughs> <laughs> that, see, that's the problem. That is the problem. They need to address that. Cause nah, for real though, I fuck with her. Like, actually, like when I think back to the interview I did with her and shit, I got a ton of respect for her. So it's like it, it did like kind of hurt me when I saw her like saying that shit. Cause she just doing the same thing with AD. She doing a little victim act because she knows it's the only way she get people to pay attention to her. But I, I, I respect her and I got love for her. And one day she gonna be like Adam. I know I talked all this shit about you for no reason, but you really helped me a lot in my life. Eh. Like, if, if if she can't do something with the No Jumper co-sign that she got where we had her on that platform day in, day out for years. Whole Fashions is, is rocking, though. Uh, Whole Fashions is hard. For sure. I, I'm sure it is. But and I want to go on there. I don't think she, she want me on there. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good, though. I like you. Like you. All right, man. We're going to get back to the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe for more. It's good. Contiana, man. I'm going to figure out how to get these Jordans, these Lightning 17s, man. If y'all know any good resellers. Holla at your boy, you feel me? But look, if your reseller ain't in LA or Atlanta, don't send them to me, bro. If you in Wisconsin, you in Iowa, you in Delaware, you in Idaho, I ain't going to Iowa, brother. I'm not going to Iowa. That's not finna happen. So red dot sliding to the left. <laughs> Figure out to get some of this good chili. I'm gonna give it away here at TNN Trap News Network. And it's free. Avenue Angel until he's free. Let's go.